What's going on, everyone? Welcome to part 12 of our Keyshot Essential series. My name's Kareem Merchant, and in this video, I'll introduce you to Keyshot Viewer's incredible interactive capabilities. Keyshot Viewer is a free, standalone application that enables secure sharing of Keyshot scenes for interactive, photorealistic 3D model viewing, presentation, and configuration using the same real-time ray tracing engine as Keyshot. Using the free Keyshot Viewer allows anybody with the application installed to view and produce high-quality visuals at incredible speed. To download the application, you'll need to start by visiting www.keyshot.com viewer, which can be accessed easily through the link in the description below. With the web page open, you'll notice two links available at the top of the page. One jumps to the feature section where you can learn more about Keyshot Viewer's capabilities and benefits, and the second jumps to an input field which allows you to input your information and download Keyshot Viewer. You can also scroll to the bottom of the web page to input your information as well. When you're ready, go ahead and fill out the available fields, select Submit, and open the download link sent via email. It should take no more than a minute or two, so go ahead and refresh your inbox if necessary. Once the application is installed, you can view and interact with any Keyshot file you have access to. This is an incredible tool that makes sharing projects safe, secure, and absolutely free. It also provides an easy way to share projects with development partners who do not have access to a Keyshot license. Once open, your workspace will look very similar to the real-time view in Keyshot, but you will not have the ability to manage settings or assign materials. Along the right side of the window, there is a toolbar that has a series of buttons to control your Keyshot scene. Starting from the top, we have the ability to toggle GPU mode on and off and automatically hide the window. Then we have a series of familiar buttons to select between tumble, pan, and dolly. These controls use the same icons that are found on the ribbon inside Keyshot. Below that is the camera reset icon. If you've adjusted your image and wish to return to the original view, simply click on this icon to reset the view. The next icon allows you to save a screenshot of the current viewer configuration. This can be an incredibly handy tool when you or the file recipient need some quick reference renderings from different angles. To get the best results when creating screenshots, simply adjust your model to a view you'd like to save and allow the image to res up before doing so. And finally, our bottom icon allows us to enter and exit presentation mode. Although I haven't spoken about configurators in our Keyshot Essential series, I'm going to bring them up and introduce them to you briefly. To demonstrate this, I'm going to use the Demo Watch configurator that is available in the Keyshot welcome screen. I encourage you to open that same scene and do some exploration of your own. Notice that when the viewer is open in presentation mode, I have different configuration options available. These options were predetermined by the person who originated the file. Using Keyshot, they were able to create a configurator made up of different model sets and studios that can now be applied within Keyshot Viewer. This creates a unique opportunity for stakeholders and development partners to interact with different design elements on the fly. With the configurator file open, you'll also notice two new icons available on the toolbar to the right. The first toggles the model sets panel on and off, and the second toggles the studios panel on and off. If you click on any component within each panel, the selected component will become active and visible on the model in the viewer. Not only can you interact with the model using standard Keyshot mouse controls, Keyshot Viewer is also touch enabled, meaning that design projects can be viewed and interacted with across a number of different devices and platforms. Keyshot configurators are certainly geared toward more advanced users, but nonetheless, I wanted to introduce you to the full capabilities that Keyshot Viewer offers. If you're interested in exploring configurators further and want to learn more about how both Configurator and Keyshot Viewer can work for you, then definitely check out our Keyshot Advanced series where we dive deeper into the many topics covered in Keyshot Essentials. As always, thanks for watching this episode of our Keyshot Essentials series. If you happen to have missed any of our previous videos, I highly recommend taking the time to check out our Keyshot Essentials playlist, which you can find through the link in the description below. Don't forget to let us know your thoughts on this tutorial in the comment section below, and if you found this video useful, give it a like and share with your friends.